Kan y'all please go? These are go? Yeah, commander, or just be a god, guy. I can't make no music videos or play in Minecraft or roller coaster Deku do if I did. Y'all, so you guys don't. That'd be great. I need sleep so I can make videos and do my work at Evry University. I am literally writing an essay as I record the audio for this video. Well, at least I don't have to attend any more lectures. <laughs> and apparently I have a bad omen. Whatever, I'm sure it's just silly superstition. So, I read many of you guys' comments throughout the week. What you guys told me to do is to name the horse Joe. Who's Joe, you might be asking? My horse. Were you not paying attention last five seconds? And I used the name tag I found in the dungeon where I ambushed the skellies. Oh, really? And another one of you guys' suggestions is to put water in farm. To which I say, what a wonderful idea. Why didn't I think of that? So here's what I go and do. I go and... Ah! I go into our chest and steal. This is illegal. All right, I heard enough of you already, smarty pants. I go and take roughly three iron and get Then place it on the crafting table. Lick this. And that will create the bucket. This is a bucket. Dear God. There's more. No. Then we go to the river. Well, this is going splendidly. Well, since my crops failed, and I'm too nice to kill the cows. JK, I need my bees! Chirkers are cooking me more! Now, die, 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 by the way, the M burgers have the highest saturation levels in the game. But after killing the cows, there's another thing we must do. I put my saddle on my horse, untie him from the pole. I'll put this away for now. And we go! <laughs> Here it is, the shipwreck. It has many valuable goods, some of which we can use to trade with the villagers in Go Wayfield. Like over here. But you have to be careful, or else you might fall for... Oh well, I can just swim up. I can't swim up. Well, let me see what I can do. Oh dear. Help! Don you all to heck! This creature, ladies and gentlemen, is a drowned. They are basically water sheep, water zombies that can appear anywhere in the sea, especially in generated structures like this one. And they will kill you. They come from zombies who have drowned. But James, your lifeguard, you have legal obligation to act when someone drowning. Considering that zombies turn into drowns when they submerge in water, you have failed to fulfill obligation for your position. I'll have discussion with Fluffy Bridge Pools and Corporate about this. Ah! Talking horse! <laughs> 
Ah! Help! Why are you running away from me? I'm right. Every time. Run! Talking horse! Quick! Wow, everything actually looks nice down here. Let me show you around, dudes. So, as you can see, there are lots of players on here in the city. Like, a lot of top, which is actually very useful for a lot of the leaks. And there are actual fish under the city. As well, there is a fish below the dolphin. The dolphin will give you a speed boost. That is very kind of him. Remember in the last part when I said, And we also need coal because it's a better fuel than wood. Guess what? Kelp as a fuel is even better than coal. I'll show you. So you take the kelp from the sea and you fry it up. Then when that's done, you put it into black form exactly like this and that can smell 20 blocks in one block. Whereas coal or charcoal can only smelt eight. Pa 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 pa. Roasted. Oh, that's funky. That's funky. All right, it's been a while since they've been to Go Wayville, so let's go to Go Wayville to do some trading. For real this time. Huh? What's this? Wait, it's starting. Quick! Barricade the wall! Quick! Oh no! A raid is coming! What are we gonna do? Don't worry, I know exactly how to deal with this. Basically, to defend the village from the raid, you take some blocks. This sounds familiar. You put the blocks in your hotbar. Then you do a Donald Trump and you build a wall. That's the third time in the series that you wrote that. Are you guys serious? But it's funny. And it worked flawlessly the last time you did a raid. What are you talking about? I never triggered a raid in my entire well, life. Well, just build a wall. No one's going to think you're a Republican. I promise. Okay then. But if I see that joke again, someone's going to get fired. You can't fire us. We don't even exist. Our dialogue is recorded by your voice with a camera showing a closed door to make the illusion that there are separate people who work for you for a YouTube channel to create a comedic effect. But in reality, you're doing all of our work and we only exist in the form of ideas. And you can forget about earning that raise I promised no, to give you. No, please. I'm sorry. I'm a single parent with three children ever started to pay our rent for our apartment in Westport. Then move to Townsville City. No! Now they can't get us. Checkmate, Raiders. Sounds like the horn is coming from over there. They always announce that they're coming. Which is a bad battle strategy if you ask me. Here they are, I see them. Trying to get into the wall. But they cannot. These are the faces of evil. You must conquer each. This is illegal, you know. Did they die by falling off? BOOM! I don't like that they spawned in the cliff. Oh no, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. But not before he falls. Ha! Huh? They're all over here. Two remaining. Okay. But this is the first wave of the three. There are more. I'm going to kill you. Good. Now, oh, I need to get in. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. I need to get in. Help me. Help, help, help. 
I'm stuck. Grab some dirt. I thought those were dead. There was a cow. Here you are. Okay. You want to play tough with me? I'll play tough with you. I'm going to eat. I kill you. Where are the others? Are villagers dead or are they just hiding? I think they're hiding. They're smart. Sometimes it feels like we're moving in a circle around and around with the same scenery going by, but no one's complaining. Yeah, I see a villager there. Okay, we need at least one villager alive in order to win the raid, but we don't want any of them dead. Not at all. Here you are. You're, you want to get him so badly, don't you? There you go. Again. I'll wait for it to regenerate. That's good. And if you use one of their crossbows, which I don't have yet. But if you use their crossbow to, like, kill the captain with the big banner, you get an achievement called, Who's the Pilgrim Now? Maybe I'll get one in the next wave. And this is the scariest wave of the three. The scariest one. Do you know why? Oh yeah, there's the bell. It rings when the raid has come. Do you know why this is the scariest wave of the three? They bring a ball! <laughs> oh no! It's a ball! Oh god! The ball! There's a great big ball coming! <laughs> However, this is the last wave, at least if you're on easy mode, like we were earlier. Remember? I told you this already. <laughs> oh, the ball does a frick ton of damage! <gasps> Daisy was right! Oh god, I, I'm dying! Save me! The bullet's going to kill me! But not before I kill it. Die. It has like 50 health or something. Or 100, I don't know. It, it's a big number. It's, yeah. I can't even know good. I'm more of a Ah, there you go. Almost done. Two rays of mink. One more mink. And good timing, too. It's almost dark time. Dark time. Night time. Yes, we did it! We done it! We finished the raid! Yes! Fireworks! Woo I love the fireworks! Yay! And also, word has it that they give you gifts. That's very nice of them. The villagers off for lead discounts. So this is a perfect time to show you guys something. Here's a loophole in the system. You go to the village farms, and you proceed to take absolutely everything. <laughs> Take all the wheat, seeds, carrots, potatoes. Make sure there's nothing left except things that are bolted to the ground. Take everything. Yes, everything. Any questions? Did I stutter? Take whatever booty you can find. Remember, the beast is mine. Sorry, wrong script. Then you go to the farmer villager and you proceed to give him all the crops you just stole from him for emeralds. So I was going to check out a book from the librarian here, but he decided to give me the book for free. Thank you, Mr. Librarian. It was an honor to defeat the raid for- Oh, he gave me another one. You are such a kind man. I wish you many years of great prosperity. You know, I can't believe that we fought off that raid with just iron-based tools. That means we can only imagine what we could do with a higher power. 
That's exactly what we're going to find, my friends. There's a material that can break any material except for the indestructible ones. You have armor that will protect you to the fullest, and its sword will make the raiders terrified of you. This is a material, pressurized coal, one of the world's hardest materials. Besides my dick where my crush sends nudes. Alright, which one of you put that in the script? Shut up, James. It's very funny. The material is... Diamonds. It is, indeed, the most honored material in the game. Do you want to find some? Well, it will be quite a challenge, but we will go look, and it will be fun. Diamonds can only be found in the deepest and darkest layers of the underground. But to get there, just dig straight down. Okay, there are a few disadvantages, but usually it's worth it, trust me. Over here, we have plenty of room to store the things we find while mining. The best place to find diamonds is at y equals 11. We are now at y equals... Oh no, because as you can see, I pressed F3. Look at this. But yet, it's not showing me the coordinates. It's turning up the volume. And F2 is to turn down the volume. But we're focusing on F3 here. Like, seriously, that's not how Minecraft's supposed to work. Why can't I access the coordinates? My first laptop could access the course, and it was a piece of junk, so there's no excuse for this gaming specialized laptop to not have the coordinates. Who at Dell thought this was a good idea to have F3 only be able to up the volume and nothing else? You know what? There has to be something I can do about this. Hold on. So I've been using your gaming laptop, and I really like it so far, the, but there is one serious problem, and that is that when I press F3, the coordinates of Minecraft don't appear. This is a gaming laptop, I should be able to use all the features I want for gaming, and with all the money I'm paying you for these services, you didn't provide that service. This is unacceptable. I demand some change. Shut up, James. I don't care! Well, that sounds like you, Dell. Please, I am... But uh, even though I hate you, I am one of your biggest customers, so please just do something. Go away! Excuse me, what? Well, that was a very productive trip. Although, I can see that we're at lava level right here. And over here, you see we're at the bottom of the ravine. So I think it's safe to assume that we are at diamond level, so now we're going to mine for some diamonds. Much, much, much later. I give up. Look how far I've mined. Look how far. This is crazy. I've been mining for like three hours. I've used like six pickaxes, but I haven't found a single diamond. Not one. Ugh. I need a nap. Mining makes me tired. What the? My headphones literally fell off. Whoa, what is this? I finally got the diamonds, yo. Yes. Finally. There we go. Now there's room for them. Now, let's go back to our chest to put the diamonds in before anything kills us. Oh, crap. Whoever set up this trap, your mom is a seagull. I hope your mom explodes in a minute and smashes down into a brick hard seat. Mental note, don't let the company class clown be the one to construct sets. Okay, I recovered the majority of my important things. 
So now it's time to look for some more diamonds. Oh no, a creeper, run! So you're telling me, uh, this is where the ladder was, so you're telling me that if I went one more block down, I would have found diamonds instead of having to go all the way down there. Like I said guys, always, always dig straight down. You'll get whatever you're looking for. You'll find diamonds like I did. You also need obsidian for another project we're going to do. My pickaxes are all out of durability, so I have to see what else I can do. This is obsidian. It is very difficult to mine. However, I might be able to collect it as an item if it's exploded. Pyrotechnics? All stand clear. Operation beginning. Operation in progress. Operation complete. Did any of it get mined? Triggered. Perfect. Y'all probably wondering, Triple J, what's this? Well, this is a framework for a whole new step in our adventure. When I light it up, we will reach worlds and depths unknown into a deep, dark land filled with fire, rock, fortresses, and dangerous creatures, but also great treasures. This is the Nether. One more thing to do, I promise, just one more thing to do. We shuffle gravel until we find flit. There it is. Then we combine it with iron. No crafting table necessary. And we get a flit and steel. Then we go to die portal and right click. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here it is. So as you can see, it's not a very pretty place at all. But trust me, we're going to go kick butt while we're here. Oh, look at these weird picky things. Let's try to communicate. Hey. <laughs> You just said my wife left me. Dude, I think he understood us. Let's try to say something else. What do you mean I have five fathers? <laughs> and that raisins are creation of... <laughs> the pee pee poo poo man? Excuse me, Mr. Pig, but I personally don't think Rocky Mountain construction sucks, so let's agree to disagree. What do you mean Donald Trump is a great U.S. president? I assure you that, first of all, you... Shut up! Oh god, I had no knowledge of this alliance. I am so sorry. Hey, uh... Hey, I had no knowledge of this alliance. Glory to our president! While I head back to where I was before, I'd like to show you guys the best way to travel in the nether, where high cliffs and lava oceans are rampant. What you want to do is use oak planks to make bridges. It is very cheap, is renewable, and it marks a path. Ignore that, that's, that's not a big deal. So be sure to use oak planks in your bridges. That's what I do all the time. 
Oh wow, it's pretty rocky here, hey. Hey, slow down on the rocks, baby. It's dangerous at there. The bloody Lord and Bob just missed you! Hold the bloody mother of God! Jesus fucking my god, baby! Come back the Lord and Bob nearly hit ya! Oh my god, baby, you are! I can't do this anymore, dudes. The monsters be hating. They know like me. I can't help you and the nether guys. Y'all are on your own. Oh dear. Water. See? Y'all are on your own. I can't help you anymore. Point proven. I can't do no nether no more. Alright, that's it for now y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching how to play Minecraft. It was a unique experience to produce that I've never had before on this channel. I hope you learned many things along the way. Thank you very much for understanding my computer troubles and how this part was very delayed compared to the other two. But it was still a lot of fun to make even though I had to do it twice. I must give a shout out before this video ends to log.zip who made the video that sort of inspired me to write and film these videos. True story, link in the description. And also, thank you very much to Nurkdrum for writing the royalty-free music you have been listening to. Anyways, please ask any questions y'all might have. Don't be shy, and be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment for more Minecraft and other content. Lastly, have fun, and good luck in your Minecraft adventures. This is James Tune, aka TripleJ755, and until next time, peace! Ouch. Wrong outro. Wrong. No! That one! Perfect.